Uh, there's the back piece. I guess that looks pretty good. Just trace it out and then do the front piece the same way. Just trace and trace and trace. You put the piece on there, you trace that, you cut that, you trace it on the other one. Come on, I don't have to do this all, do I? If you lose your big scissors, a good way to find them is bang on the table and you can usually hear them. And then you take your big scissors like this and you cut, 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 cut all around, all around here. And if you're really good, you can go like this. And you have to work the scissors. You just kind of These are a little dull, but... You still do it a little, still do pretty good, etc., etc., all the way down to the end. And no, if I did it slower, the camera would still not focus. Now, the other thing, it's really hard to roll a zipper around there, so just round your corners off a little bit. I just lay them together and trim them both at the same time. So there's your back piece. We're going to make a front piece just like it. All right, now the way you want to, or the way I center this is I, I'm laying on the back here. And you want to get the edge to be like the other edge. So you want to kind of lay this kind of even. Now, the, the, the quilted part will stretch back and forth a little bit. So you got to, you kind of have a little wiggle room to adjust that while you're putting this thing together and sewing it up. But you do kind of want a little bit on the ends to be kind of perfect. Where's my... All right, pencil, pencil. Okay, so like I said, we just trace that on there. See, pencil, pencil. Now this is about where the zipper is going to come up and end, and the top is going to come down and lap over that zipper opening. If we did everything right, and it comes out right. So we've got this, we got that. See, they're past the quilted piece a little bit, so they should come out pretty even. And boom, it's just that easy. If you want to start your own upholstery shop i would suggest calling it obsessive compulsive upholstery that's the name i came up with or shapeshifter upholstery that'd be a good one